Today, we're going to be testing Nick DiGiovanni's recipes to see if they're any good. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Sheldon, today you'll be tasked with making something that might be a little bit outside of your skill level. By a little bit, I might be exaggerating a little bit. Yes, you are. But, you'll be making Nick DiGiovanni's salmon nuggets. Let's make salmon nuggets. First thing, get a salmon. He uses an actual salmon. I have... Salmon. Starfish Market. <laughs> we'll cover our salmon in soy sauce, then set it aside to brine. Panko. Panko. Potato starch. A couple eggs. Seasoned with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Garlic powder, baby. Dredge in the potato starch, eggs, and panko. Then we fry at 375 Fahrenheit. Yeah, you guys really gave me an easy recipe. Eh? You guys really didn't challenge me with this one. I mean, I'm scared to challenge you, bro. Let's drench it in. Egg. Oh, that looks pretty good. Oh. Pretty solid, let's go. Bada bing, bada boom. Ooh. Oh, that looks good. Ooh. I saw golden brown, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I expected it. It came out. I was like, yo, it looks bomb. <laughs> Are you hey okay, gang? You guys get ready for this, baby. Salmon pungents. Nick DiGiovanni's salmon nuggets. Let's see if they're Yeet Hey Gang approved. I mean, they're a little bit more brown than I expected. Yeah. The only difference is that he is white and he's using his hands. We're Asian, so we yeah. use chopsticks. Three, Three two, two, one. Oh, it cooked. I'm not gonna blame you for this, but I think this is a pretty poorly thought out recipe. Kind of ruins the salmon now. There's just like burnt panko on the outside. Yeah, I, I also agree. You agree, right? Like if there was some salt or some pepper, it would have been like a lot better. I'll <laughs> It is your fault that you kind of break the pencil. Wait, there was a good amount of salt on it. I think it's just the recipe? <laughs> As a zoo chef, you have to take a little bit of responsibility. I hit the blame for the burnt exterior. Ah, okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. I think maybe a little more on the seasoning as well. But the seasoning, I copied him. Huh? Well, would you guys say this is Ihei Gang approved? Probably not. Next up, we have Edward. Making today. You're making Nick Giovanni's fish and chips. Let's make Gordon Ramsay's fish and chips. One cup flour, pinch of baking powder, a little salt, and one and a quarter cups light beer. Light beer, one cup flour. Ah! <laughs> 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 nice, nice, athletic performance. Okay. One cup flour, baking powder, a pinch of salt. Quarter cup. Feel it. Oh yeah, you're actually getting twisted right now. You're trying to get tipsy. I'm trying to get tipsy. Oh yeah, feels good. Foam or not foam included? Oh, shit, that's all foam, bro. <laughs> bro. That's all foam, bro. No, I. <laughs> I actually read that you want your beer to foam. Are you trying to make snow? Not bad, right? Yeah. I, I don't know what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rest in the fridge. Actually, it looks it looks a lot more liquid than this. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna follow his his uh, thing. I'm just keep beating it. Okay, all right. right. I think okay. it's good. Wow, I'm, wow. Now I'm gonna let it rest in the fridge. That's true. 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 That's I'm not gonna make the mistake that Sheldon made. Whoa. I'm gonna actually see if it's at 375 Fahrenheit. How? Do we have a thermometer? No. <laughs> Never mind. The only other way you feel it is with your fingers. It's like my fingers know exactly what 375 Fahrenheit yeah. is, right? What is another fun fact? You know what I heard the other day? Um, it was made with Lau, his dad, has something called Iron Chef Hands, where he doesn't feel heat. He can pick things up just with his hands because... Oh, my mom can do that. It's not a competition, man. Dredge and flour, beer batter, 
Yeah. It's a bit thick of a batter, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's not bad. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Whoa, I hear it. That's good. Also, I need more oil. It's not coming to the top. Now I'm in a sticky situation, pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, yo. It's becoming disaster. Yo, yo. Holy <laughs> <laughs> it's not hot enough now. This is where fuel comes in, bro. It's all what kind, Jay? Things are coming together. Look, it's bubbling now. The batter looks still looks a bit white, so I need to wait for it to turn brown. Hello, chefs. It's yeah. coming together. It's coming together. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. It doesn't look kind of close to what he made. Hey, man, don't worry. It's um. Feeling a little bit dejected right now. I heard, are you making the chips? Fish and chips. You fing don't know. Apparently, these are chips. I'm not making that. This is just fish. Right. Yeah, these, um, the chips are there. Oh! Oh, we have chips! Alright, let's go. This is Nick DeGivia. <laughs> come, come. That's a white name, not that hard, bro. <laughs> Nick DeGiovanni's Gordon Ramsay's fish and chips. Let's see if it's Yeet Hate Gang approved. Try the fried chips first. I'm oh my god, it's so good! Mmm! 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 Not bad, not bad. This Ready? is the part where I'm a little nervous. Oh, there's juice in there. Nice, nice, nice. Not bad, not bad. It's not overcooked. Not overcooked. I'm gonna dig it. I'm gonna get this piece right over here. Right? Like, so I wanna try the batter in it. See the big ones here. The big ones are usually the worst ones. What do you think? Was decent? Not bad? Actually, not bad. What is it? It's a little bit over salted, mm -hmm. but not bad. It's pretty good. Pretty Edward. good. Yeah. Thank wow. You. In the end, I thought it was going to be a disaster with all the oil and everything, but it pulled through. This is Yehe Game Proof. Yehe Game Proof. This is really good. Alright. It's time for the head chef to make something for us. It's time, guys. Today, I'm making you guys Nick. The Giovanni's cauliflower steak. Okay. Wait, why wait, Mike? What? You're not just making me that weird. What am I making? We have another food critic coming in. Welcome, new food critic. Hafu! Hey! I'm very excited. Very excited. Let's start. I'm gonna treat this cauliflower the exact same way I would treat a steak, but it's gonna be vegan. He's gonna be vegan. You have a big hill to climb with this one to impress us, bro. True, true, yo, bro, man. You gotta Mike. really beat the odds in this one. Let me tell you guys something, okay? The friend of an enemy is, is a friend. friend. That's all I gotta say. Mike, is the enemy of an enemy is my friend? Not the friend of an enemy is my friend. The enemy of my enemy is your friend. <laughs> Remember that. First, we'll color cauliflower this way to make nice steaks. This right here will be our steak. Okay. First off, I'm gonna make this so good that you guys are gonna eat it and be like, oh my god, did I make, did I eat steak or am I eating cauliflower? I do gotta say that when vegan food is made good, it actually tastes really tasty. That's yeah. true. I like the whole thing raw right now. Mike. Is he like creating a sculpture? What's Mike, he doing? Mike. Perfect. How about you guys clap? Why? Is something impressive? No. <laughs> so like any great chef, I'm gonna come to you guys and ask you which you guys get to pick your your, your cut. Which which eyes you want? I want that side. Wait, if, if, it looks wider on that side. Let me teach you guys if you guys don't know what you're looking for. You're looking for the grain and how it's shooting outwards. You see it? Yeah, that's that's a big one. <laughs> you guys like this one better? How about you, Sheldon? Which one do you like better? Alright, we're we'll going this one. Nice. nice. <laughs> Let me cut it into a stick. And please, no talking during the step. It's a very delicate step, okay? I appreciate you have comments. But please, like, excuse yourself if you're gonna make comments. Why all of this that chef? Yeah, come on. Yo, please, no talking. It's a very delicate step. Ooh. So, remove these. Excess cauliflower bits that you don't really That's a need. Lot of food yeah, hey, hey guys, this is all going to the kids bank, kids foundation bank for starving kids in it. <laughs> First, we'll cover our steak in salt and pepper. <sighs> all right, 
cover it in salt and pepper. Ronnie, next time Himalayan salt, please. <laughs> it's so white that I don't know if it's even on. <laughs> I'll add a little oil to my carbon steel pan. And over high heat, in goes my steak. Okay, all right. I'm actually very excited. I like cauliflower. Really? Yeah, I like cauliflower. Broccoli what cauliflower, my favorite vegetable. What kind of plant yeah, did you grow up on, bro? Weird. Cauliflower is the lowest tier vegetable. Cauliflower is garbage. <laughs> Brussels sprouts is the upgrade of cauliflower. It, it, yo, Brussels sprouts is, so sprout is elite. Butter, Brussels, Brussels sprouts, sprouts are is so, so good. It's so good. With no, butter? No, 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 wait. This is bitter. Yeah. No, cauliflower, cauliflower is, is not bitter. bitter when you cook it properly. Guys, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts or cauliflower good. or broccoli? I like the amount of concentration my has. In that head, I got money. <laughs> I think you're supposed to put it in the oven. And this will go in the oven at 375 Fahrenheit until that perfect medium rare. Wait, oh my god. How are we gonna look at the future? But a good chef always prepares with knowing what the recipe is. 375 Fahrenheit? What the hell is this? So while we're waiting on Mike to finish his steak, we have a bit of time on our hands to talk about New Year's resolutions. Ours is to become better chefs and impress Uncle Roger for the Yeet Hey Gang. Now, if yours has anything to do with being online, then you might want to consider making a website for that. That's where Squarespace comes in. Squarespace is a website builder that's completely free to try, super easy to use, and it'll help you accomplish all of those New Year's resolution goals that you just set. For example, let's say you want to make some money online by starting your own online store. Start by picking a template, add some graphics, some text, add your products, and you've basically got a good looking online store. Okay, what about starting a new year YouTube channel and you want to get a head start? Just set up a site where you can seamlessly link all of your content across your different content pages to maximize your online presence. And if that's not enough, you can also use Squarespace to foster community engagement. Just set up a blog page where you can communicate with and chat to your community of loyal supporters. Thank you guys. But the best part is that Squarespace is completely free. Well, it's free to try for two weeks so you can test it out and see if you like it without paying a single penny. That means it's totally risk free. And with our link, you'll also save 10% on your future subscription if you choose to continue using it. So go make that dream come true and check out Squarespace with our link in the description box below for your free trial. All right, looks like he's almost done with his cauliflower steak, so let's get back to the video. Now it's time for the best part. Now we'll smash some garlic and into our pan we'll add vegan butter, garlic, and rosemary. <laughs> margarine though. Random rosemary, this looks so bad. The dish is against you, but can you beat the odds? That's the question. Will it be good? Now we'll butter base it a little bit. Oh, How's it? Oh, hmm? Are you confident? Uh, it's aside from the aside from the margarine bit. So let's see what he does. This will go in the oven at 375 Fahrenheit until that perfect medium rare. Don't tell me. How the f am I gonna know when it's perfect medium rare? <laughs> How the f do I know this? I just Nick Di Giovanni. This doesn't do anything. <laughs> this is not a steak though. I hope he doesn't burn the bottom. Because a burnt cauliflower is a <laughs> I think that's all it is. Okay. <laughs> it's a black. It's a black. You know what they say once you go black, you can never go back. <laughs> Pop that baby in. Alright, now we wait, guys. Okay. Oh, oh my god. god, that looks pretty solid. <laughs> it looks a little burnt. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, the Giovanni's. Cauliflower steak. This looks pretty good. Let's see if this is Yihe Gang approved. Right, we're one bite. That's pretty nice. That's perfectly brown. Wow. Good job. Thank good you. Job. Thank you. Ready? Three, two, two one. Mmm. Dude, this is good, man. This is the best part of This is oh, good. Shit. I'm going <laughs> in for a second. He got the flavor right, and he got the texture just so perfect. Hafu, like it's not too hard, it's not too soft, and if you like think hard enough, you can kind of taste a little bit of meat flavor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, gang, approved. Approved? Yeah, very approved. Wow. I'm gonna say, man, it feels like I just got the the neglecting Asian father approved. <laughs> <laughs> the Asian dad, that well, says man. you do well. You do well. Good job, team. That's yeah, how yeah, we do it. Yeah. Hey, click here to watch us test Gordon Ramsay's most hated recipes. And click here to watch a video that YouTube thinks you will love. Peace.